What's up guys, this is uh, Wax That, uh, back at you with another tip, trick, or secret. Um, I'm probably going to shoot the uh, other videos over in a bridge version because I know I had some technical issues with that and it was a little too long, I was a little long winded, so I'm going to try to keep this one short. Uh, this tip, trick, or secret is, uh, is really sweet. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, close quantization of the fourth kind. Uh, has to deal with uh, quantizing, timing, shuffle, um, swing. Uh, this is sweet because uh, Jim Stout did an excellent job of explaining the quantized features in the MV, the uh, grid, the um, shuffle, and the template. Those are the three quantized uh, features of the MV. But uh, there is a fourth. Um, it's a way that I do it. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other tricks that come off of this one. Uh, I'm not gonna give them to you all today. I'll do that in another one. But uh, if you can just open your mind up, uh, once you see this, you'll be like, "Wow, there's some other things I can really do with this." So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a uh, just a little background beat. Uh, just this little corny little uh, bass bass and uh, clap. Just so you get the idea of it. Now what I'm going to do right now is I, I'm going to take my tempo down to, you don't have to do this now. This is, I'll get into why I'm doing this. I'm going to take it down to 60 just for the hell of it. I'm going to mute this bass and uh, clap track. Uh, you understand in a second why I'm doing that. Um, I'm going to go to a track here which has a hi hat on it. There you go. It's my 808 hi hat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into step record mode. And I'm going to just step in until I get to the second bar. I'll just hit some rest. Rest, 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 rest. On well, 480, it's four times, four ticks basically. And I'm going to hit my hi-hat at the beginning of the second bar. Bam, just like that. Now I'm out of that. Go back to the beginning. I'm going to go to an audio track. I'm going to click record. Resample mix and on mono. Now I'm going to press play. Once that hi-hat sounds, stop it. Okay. Go to the track with the hi-hat. I can take that off of there now. I can erase all events on that track. I'm going to go back to my audio track. I'm going to go to Sample Manager. I'm going to go to the last sample in there. That should be the hi-hat. That would be Sample 50. And I'm going to quick assign that to a patch. I'm going to put that on patch 7, uh, let's put it on A1, and I'm going to execute it, done deal. I go to a track with patch 7 on it, and I'm going to quick edit A1, go to sample edit. I'm going to take that sample down, using the start point, I'm going to scroll it down to the beginning of that sample. Bingo, there you go. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to, I'm going to clipboard that hi-hat, and I'm going to put it on the second pad, pad 14. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step edit. We'll do eighth notes. We'll put it on 240. We'll step note some eighth notes in using pad A1, A13, and A14. Uh, just alternating. Real quick. This is like a drummer rule. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Done deal. So what you now have, let me erase that audio track. I forgot to do that. I'll 
take that off of the erase all events on the audio track because we don't need it. Uh, now I have the, the muted um, bass drum kick uh, pattern. That's muted. Leave that muted. Oops. I'm going to take my tempo back up to 90. You just have eighth notes, hi-hat pattern, basic. Okay. What's so special about it? All right. What's so special is I'm going to show you real-time quantization without using the quantizer. And I'll show you a swing pattern real quick right here. You know what swing is? It's your two and your four note, your even notes moving closer to your odd notes. If you understand that, you, you should. You guys should understand that. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to hit quick edit, and I'm going to hit the even note, which is on pad A14. My fault. Let me go to the track, which the hi-hat's on. I'm going to quick edit that pad. I'm going to hit sample edit. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my start point. I'm going to go to the third number out. And I'm going to start rolling that back. Now let's see if you can hear this. You hear it? You hear it swinging? Now that's without using any of the quantized features inside of the MV. Now let me put my own bass and drum pattern on. I'm going to unmute that. Now I'm going to go back to my, to my hi-hat. And I'm going to adjust that, uh, that snare some more. Take it back down. Now, just because swing is usually on your second and fourth notes or, or your even notes moving closer to the eyes, you can do it the other way and have your odd notes kind of swinging, like a reverse type swing thing going on. Uh, flipping the beat. You hear that? I mean, it's, it's, it's that simple. Um, the only thing I have to say is that uh, basically you're dealing with time here. You're not dealing with BPM. So if you were to change the BPM of your beat, you went to 100 or you went back down to 80, you would have to adjust. And you do it all by ear. You know, how much feel you want in, 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 your, uh, in your swing. And this is more accurate than the 480 ticks that you get with the uh, MV or 960 if you if you double it. It's sample accurate. I mean, it, it, it's really micro seconds that you can take off. Just minute, minute uh, uh, fractions of time. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's do it with 16, 16th notes. 